Hello and welcome back to the Fodor player career mode. In the last episode, we made our move from the French Giants, Leon, to the Italian Giants, Napoli. They are currently the reigning Champions League holders. That's why we decided to move there. We're currently top of the league. Four games played, four wins, 10 goals, zero conceded. And we also had a stellar start to the season with three goals, three assists, and four Serie A appearances. And for the first game of the day, we're traveling away to Atalanta, coming off the bench. 30 minutes left to play. We're up 2 0. Bloody brilliant. Oh my god, how did I win that? Fodor with a chance here. Oh my god, that was a. Pass the ball! That was the slowest turn I've ever seen. Sprints it wide. Nice play. I don't really want that, but it's fine. I'll take that though. No, I've put it over. That was great play though. Oh my Jesus Christ. Photo is something. <laughs> Bro, I can't. I just can't get the angle I want. The dribbling shit. Nice, Photo. Oh, am I going to get there? I am going to get there, Photo. Oh my Lord, Photo. No, what the hell is that? Chance, big chance, keeper, good save. They keep us up in the 85th minute, their keepers up. Surely, surely. Fodor, all you have to do is beat this guy. All you have to do is beat this guy. Please. Go on the inside. Yes. Yes, Fodor. Yes. Yes, come on. We scored. Why is their key? It's 85th minute, fella. Plenty of game left to go. Vodor scores on the break. Come on, you beautiful specimen. And that's full time. Napoli 3, Atalanta 0. Off to a great start. No goals conceded still in the Serie A season. Vodor gets a goal. Perfect start. And we're coming off the bench again. Away to AC Milan. 10 minutes left to play. Vodor's coming on to win us the game. It's nil all. What can we do here? Oh, it's a good ball. Can you play me one more? Can you play one more? You can. It's Fodor. What is that ball control? It doesn't matter. It's in. The hero's done it again. The Hungarian strikes. Oh, my. The ball control was wank, but the finish is acceptable. The keeping shit, though. Fodor might have just won it at the death. Can you believe it? Nice ball. You're through. You're through. The Georgians through. Are you taking the piss? Are you showboating your bit? Don't be an idiot. Shoot far past. And that's full time. Fodor's goal gives Napoli six wins in a row. Six games without a bloody goal conceded. Victor Oshim, you better watch out, fella, because we're about to take your bloody number one spot. And we're getting our first ever league start as we start at home to Criminose. We're on fire. I want seven today. I want to kick Victor Oshim out of the team right now. You can sell him. You might as well sell him, Napoli board. You've got a better striker. Oh my god, the football is so good. The football is so good. It's a beautiful finish and we lead within seven minutes. What are we doing? What the fuck are we doing? We nearly just gave away a goal to the stupidest shit I've ever seen. Nice photo, good strength. How are you injured? How do you get injured from that, you fucking made of glass piece of shit? Get up for... Oh, we're actually fucking injured, bro. And unfortunately, our first league start is cut short. I think we're injured for a few months. I think we've probably dislocated our shoulder. What? Fucking what? What? What the fuck do you mean we lost to Criminose? What do you mean? Are you... You're taking the piss. You're taking the piss, you stupid cunts. Turns out we're only injured for five days. Bro, shoulder and man was on the ground for five minutes. What a pussy. So we missed our second group game uh, in the Champions League against Dortmund. We draw one or we score late on. We'll take that. So we have been nominated for the player of the month and we won it. We're just too good, mate. And we missed this game as well against Inter away, which we draw one all. Okay, we'll accept that. If we didn't lose to Criminose, I would have been fine with these results. And we're coming off the bench. We're back from injury. We're coming on for bloody the Georgian because, again, I'm never going to pronounce that name. We're coming on. We're up 3-0 against Salomon uh, Dana or something like that. Great ball, Fodor. Lovely touch, Fodor. <laughs> Dodgy touch, Fodor. Oh, this guy, man. Oh, my God. Oh, Jesus. Lovely ball. Fodor. Into whoever you are. To Oshim. Oh, it's a good save. Oh, my God. What a save from the free kick. If we had Iverson's power, it would have gone in. Nice play. Fodor, how is that not gone in? That is so unlucky. Full time, 3 0. Unlucky not to get a goal, but we're back from injury and we played decently good. 
And for our next match, we hosted Ajax in the Champions League. We came off the bench leading 1-0 with 30 minutes left. And we nearly extended our lead as we saw our effort come off the post. But we did end up getting our goal as the Georgian played us through on the left-hand side and we slotted it away. Kudos then nearly made it 3-0 with this unbelievable effort on goal. But we did end up getting our second with our first goal from a corner in our career as it just squeezed in. And that was that, Fodor coming off the bench, getting a brace, and Napoli getting all three points. Now we are back in league action as we get a rare start as we travel away to Vienz. We got off to the perfect start with this beautiful 1-2 with the Georgian, and then Fodor producing this unbelievable finish with his weaker foot to give us the lead. And it did not take us long to get the second as Fodor and the Georgian combine again to make it 2-0. We then late on in the game nearly got our hat-trick, but the keeper pulled off this beautiful save. But another Fodor brace secures all three points. And the Ballon d'Or winner was Erling Haaland. Boring. That's going to be us in two years' time. And of course, we've been nominated again for the Pro of the Month. We're just too good, apparently. So we are being rested for this match against Fiorentina at home. We won 2-1. Oshim, get in, lad. And we won it again. We're a cheat code, mate. We're one of the greatest of all time. How many Player of the Months is that already? But after winning the Player of the Month, we got another start as we took a trip away to Caligari. It didn't take us long to get the lead as the Georgian somehow gets a shot away into the bottom corner. Then only a few minutes later, Fodor got so close, but unfortunately hit the crossbar. Caligari nearly equalized as they got through and hit the crossbar as well. But with 20 minutes remaining, Fodor ran through and he's about to take the shot and gets completely taken out from behind. No pin. The refs fucking hate us. But unfortunately, our game was cut short as we picked up a knock, but we did end up winning 1-0. And unfortunately, we're out injured only for a week, so it's okay, but we are going to miss two games, and the big one is away to Ajax, which we lose, which opens up the group. Oh, that's not bloody good. And we're also out for this game as well against Belonga, which we draw in the 89th minute. You're taking the piss. And for our first game back from injury, we are coming off the bench as we travel away to Torino with 10 minutes left to play, leading comfortably 2-0. And only a few minutes after coming on, we chase down a long ball in behind, take a touch and slot it away with the right foot. It didn't take us long to be back in the goals. Torino did pull one back with Trossard scoring it and celebrating while they're down 3-1. And the game wasn't done there as we are played in behind with a beautiful pass and strike it home, scoring another brace off the bench this season. But that was all the action as we cruise to another three points. All right, big, big game. We're coming off the bench as we host Dortmund. This is how the table looks. We're currently in second by three points, but only lead Ajax by one point. And they're going to play PM for Yarkos or whatever you bloody say it. So they're most likely going to win. If we lose this game, the Champions League run could be over. But we're coming on. 30 minutes left. Nil all. Fodor, you're scoring for fun. Let's score some more. At the edge. Nice play. Nice. Beautiful. Oh, my God. What a goal. Fodor strikes. Napoli score a crucial goal in the Champions League. Oh my god, that football is excellent. That is beautiful stuff. This is actually beautiful. I just made that run knowing that he was going to play that across. It's just instinctive. Oh, chance for Dortmund. What a turn from Isaac. He scored. We've just scored, man. Oh, what a turn from Isaac. Fuck. That's, that's a bullshit. Oh, what the fuck are we doing, bro? How have I got through here? Fodor for Napoli. No, fuck. Ah, that was shit. Thinks it in. It's cleared out. Fodor wins it. It's a foul. We'll take that. We'll take that. That's in prime position. The Georgian to win us the game. You sexy bloke. Put it in the back of the net. Yes, come on. Come on! Fodor wins the free kick! The Georgian wins the game! That's the combination right there, baby! Come on! That is fucking a huge goal! Huge goal! Last chance for Dortmund. Last go at it. Oh my god, it's a big chance! Keep it! Good save! It's all happening in the last 10 minutes. The keeper's up for Dortmund. Hoof it. Clear it. Bicycle go! Oh my god! Are you fucking kidding me? Are you taking the piss? Brother Christ! What a game of football! What a game! What the fuck? Last kick of the game, and it's a bicycle kick! Top corner! Unbelievable way to steal a point! Unbelievable!
If this, if that goal knocks us out, I'm going to be fucking fuming. I tell you right now. Full time 2 all. What a game. Last 10 minutes, absolute fucking heroics from both teams. Unbelievable. And after the wild game of the Champions League, we're back in league action as we are coming off the bench as we host Genoa. It is nil with 15 minutes remaining, but that score didn't last long as Genoa shocked Napoli by taking the lead with 13 minutes left. This was the only chance we created off the bench, which we absolutely wasted, and we suffered a 1-0 defeat at the hands of Genoa. But we are back in the starting 11 as we look to bounce back from that defeat as we travel away to Spezia. And well, as you can see, EA Sports FC decided that we should both play in white. But just to help you know, we are playing with white shorts, they are playing with black shorts. I really love this game. We had a very early chance in the game as we got in behind, but we just put it wide. But just before the 25 minute mark, we did take the lead as Fodor's deflected shot from the edge of the area found the back of the net. And we nearly got two with one of the weirdest sequences of events I've ever seen at EAFC 24. But with only minutes remaining, Fodor ran through one-on-one -on -one with the keeper and tries to round him, but the keeper pulls off a massive save. But in the end, it doesn't matter as we won all three points. And now it's time for our final group game of the Champions League as we travel away to Pantheakos. We're coming off with 30 minutes left. It's nil all, but this is the table. Somehow, Ajax lost to them 3-2 at home to give us a two-point lead. So at the end of the day, all we need to do is win, and we are through. Go on, Victor Oshim. Go on, lad. Nice ball. Fodor's through. Fodor to give Napoli the lead. He will not sprint. He refuses to sprint. But we tap it in. And Napoli takes the lead. And we all but secure... Mason Mount. We all but secure our Champions League hopes for this season. With the reigning champions, if we were to get knocked down the group stage, it would have been a fucking embarrassment. Oh, we're through. We're through. It's Fodor. One-on-one -on -one with the keeper. He's going to go around him. He does go around him. What a save! What a save! You're taking the piss. He saves that. What the fuck? Oh, my God, bro. I thought that was a certain goal. Nice ball. Fodor. Tight angle. Fodor. That wasn't a bad effort. Fodor. Oh, my God. This keeper's pissing me off. I should have a goal today. Nice. I should play me. Yes. No, that touch, Fodor. What the hell is that? You're joking me. Fodor doesn't want to score today. McDoshim's in the box. If he can find him, he can. It's in. Beautiful cross from Fodor. He might not get a goal today, but he gets an assist. And Napoli are in the knockouts. That's full time. 2-0. Ajax bottled it. If they had just beat Pantheakos and then got a point against Dortmund, it may have been enough. Or maybe a win against Dortmund. I'm not sure. But, uh, sucks to suck, I guess. But that is it for this episode, and as we look at the Serie A table, we do lead the league just. We have a game in hand on Milan, lead by one. We have a four-point gap between us and Lazio, a five-point gap between us and Inter. We're doing pretty well. Why is Juventus 11th? It's a good question. And we continue to score for fun as we have 10 goals and three assists and 13 Serie A appearances, scoring 14 this season. We're four in the Champions League. We're prime, prime Ronaldo levels. Alvarez of Milan, 16 and 17. That's mental. But that's it for this episode. Hope you all enjoyed. Like, subscribe if you did. And I'll see you boys in the next episode.